wanted to make a video just kind of, you know, talking about what's going on in the world in general and put my two cents in. I've kind of completely, kind of completely, I've completely uh, stopped participating in, 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 in the data drama, the psychodrama of people making videos and talking about things that don't really matter. Um, so what I've done is I've gone back to like going, like I go to YouTube and I watch a lot of educational videos. Um, I study a couple other languages and watch videos that have to do with like paranormal stuff. And um, the reason for that is because we as a people, as the human race, all of us together, no matter what we are, uh, background wise, we've come to that why in the road in life to where you could go left or you could go right. And um, I'll refer to it as the left hand path and the right hand path. The left hand path would be the path you don't want to go down and the right hand path would be the good path. The good road, and, and I'm speaking in metaphors. Don't 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 get carried away and think too much about what I'm saying in terms of the right hand and left hand path. But we've came to the why in the road, probably a, about a year ago, and everybody is taking the left. They're going down the wrong path. I would say 99%, and, and I'm not being um, over dramatic. At least 99 percent of the world's population have decided to go the way of the dodo bird towards extinction towards anti-humanism and then the one percent that has taken the right hand path the path of being awake it's really hard to uh, touch bases with those people and you very rarely get good video content from those people anymore because they're like me they, they they don't really see a purpose anymore in trying to wake people up when 99 percent have chosen to go the way of the anti-human human extinction uh path and there's nothing more you could really do or say when everything is already out in the open. Everything's out in the open. Everybody already knows what's going on. There's nothing hidden. Um, Alistair Crowley, one of the um, one of one of the worker bees for this evil system that has blanketed the world, uh, talked about the great revealing and the great revealing has to do with um, the bad guys showing their hand and so nothing's hidden anymore the, the the great revealing everything's been revealed everything everything that you couldn't imagine them exposing and putting out there for people to um, to actually see taste hear and smell all of that stuff has been laid out in the 99% that have taken the left-hand path, they don't care. I'll get right back to you. Anyway, sorry, I was in interrupted with a, a phone call. I'm dealing with... Um, I'm dealing with retail people. And um, in today's day and age when you have to deal with anything that has to do with the system, you can't even imagine how uh, unprofessional and unhelpful everybody is. Like I just got off the phone with people from India that are supposed to be handling uh, a retail problem here in the States. And so you could imagine the runaround you get. And, um, it, it, it just blows my mind how bad things are in the world right now. And um, nothing works correctly. Everything is broken. 
and it's it's it, it's extremely frustrating. Anyways, where I was going with the why in the road um, metaphor, we as human beings have reached a why in the road, and you got the left hand path and the right hand path. Metaphorically speaking, or allegorically speaking, the left hand path would be the wrong path to choose to go down and the right hand path would be the correct path the right hand path would be for the awake people and the left hand path would be for the people that are sleeping or that um, want to not be awake by choice and consent and, and that's where we're at with everything is everybody has cho everybody has chosen to stay sleeping and not participate in this world in this life and the majority of the people have chosen to allow evil to grow in such abundance that there's a there's an imbalance that is so extremely bad that it gives off an energy to where if you're a decent person and you're awake and, and, and you want to do the right thing and you want to have a normal life, you can feel it. It's tangible. It's, it's, it's an energy. The energy of the world is so bad right now and so evil that um, I don't know about you personally, but it throws me off balance. And it's contributing to you know the, the problems I'm having in my life right now. And so it's... These are very scary times because you can see what's happening if you want to see it and uh, it's it's not a good thing. But what I'm trying to say is the majority of the people in the world that's everywhere, all races, all religions, all eth ethnicities, all languages, all, every kind of human being you could think of as a whole has ch has chosen the wrong path to go down and I believe the majority of them have done it they've consented to it they don't care so where I'm at with everything and what the message is that I'm trying to get across to people is that as Aleister Crowley said about the great revealing when they reveal and expose and show their hand which they've done no one cares the most evil things that could happen and that are happening, it's out in the open. You know who's doing it. You know where it's coming from. And the majority of the people know this and they don't care. That's not a good thing. When the majority of the human race don't care when people are doing evil things out in the open to everybody under the banner of humanity that's not a good thing and so where we are at with everything is that evil and bad things are so big and so out of control that it's created an imbalance you have to have things balanced good and bad happy sad yin or yang when those scales are completely imbalanced and you've got one side dominating another side you've got problems but the biggest problem I see is that everybody knows about these problems everybody accepts these problems everybody can see these problems everybody can 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 look at exactly where they're coming from and at the end of the day they don't care and when people don't care about every everybody generally that's when things start to get really bad. And that's where we're at with everything. And these are the worst. This is the worst time ever in human history. Alan Watt would talk about this. Because the system that they have in place now. That they recycle and bring about. And they've been doing this for God knows how long. They have tools that they didn't have before in the past. And so they're able to do evil things on a scale that's incomprehensible to the average person. And so the battle that we're in between good and evil, uh, the side of good, we're, 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 we're getting mocked. 
they're mopping the floor with us. And it's frustrating to try and put information out there to wake people up when the people that you want to wake up don't care. You can show people in the world right now the most evil things that are happening to, to the weakest of us. And at the end of the day, they don't care. No one cares right now. And that's not a good thing. So instead of putting videos out talking about you know information I learned from Alan Watt that I would hope would wake people up and make them you know, take a side, the good side, they don't care. Everything's out in the open. It's the great revealing. We're finally at that Y in the road to where they've given us a path to go down. And everybody's chosen to go down the path of evil. Even when they know the path of good and evil is evil and good. Even, even when the answers are right there for them. Even when they can see it and hear it and know exactly where it's coming from. Everybody's choosing to go down the path of evil. And what's interesting to me is it's it's not, I don't see how we can pull out of this. It's one thing if people are actually sleeping and if they're not awake and, 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 and you know, the, the, and they don't actually know what's going on. That's not what's happening. Everybody knows what's going on and everybody is choosing to go down the path of evil and that in my opinion, is the straw that has broken the camel's back. And I don't see any way out of it. And no matter what you do, no matter how hard you fight, the people, even the people that are closest to you, are knowingly and willfully consenting and participating in, in being accessories to evil. Because they don't care about the next person. And if we are going to survive as the human race, as a whole, we have to start giving a shit about everybody across the board. Because when you don't, then that's going to be the end of us. And that's kind of where, we're, where we are at with everything. And so... It's frustrating, it's scary, it's annoying. And then on top of that, when you have, you know, the problems that are being bestowed upon everybody by this world, by this evil system, whether it's health problems or financial problems or retail problems or anything that has to do with what you could tang tangibly see, touch, hear, and smell in this real world, when that system is completely out of control and no one cares and they do whatever they can to survive in it without trying to fix it, we're in big trouble. This system all over the world can't be fixed with band-aids. It has to completely be turned off and we have to start over. And the only way we could do that is if we start working together and fixing things and setting this world up to where it's a system of humanity in compassion, in empathy, in in we have to get rid of you know th this usury, evil, satanic system. We live in a world where there is an industry that makes billions and probably trillions of dollars a year off death and destruction, and that's scary. When you live in a world to where you're worth more money dead than alive, you're in big trouble. And so that's where we're at with everything. And what, what can you do? I, I don't know at this point. All the information is out there for people if they want to know exactly what's going on. But in my opinion, you know, being boots on the ground or in the trenches, people don't care. They know what's happening. There's nobody who's truly 100% sleeping. And not awake. It's that we as human beings, we have a, tr we have that what se separates us from animals is that we know 
the difference between right or wrong. We know when we're doing good and we know when, when we're doing bad. And everybody is choosing and knowingly doing bad and evil. And that's not a good world. Where we're at with everything, th this is not a good thing. And I don't know what to do at this point. But making videos <clears throat> pointing all of these obvious uh, evil anti-human things that are going on no one cares everybody seems to only care about themselves and, and, and that is going to be our downfall that's going to be our destruction anyways thank you